How do you access Home Assistant when you're away from home? I have Home Assistant running on a Raspberry Pi in my garage on my home Wi-Fi. If I go across the street and use my neighbor's Wi-Fi, I'm no longer connected to the same local area network where Home Assistant is running, so I can't access the Home Assistant dashboard. In this scenario, the only way to access Home Assistant is to be on a device that's also connected to the same network. Why is that? My home network is like an impenetrable fortress that doesn't let anything in. It's safe and secure unless I open up access to the outside world. Traditionally, I can open up a doorway that lets traffic in to access Home Assistant, for example, but that's not secure and hackers can come in right into your home network. Instead of opening up a doorway, I'm gonna use TailScale, a mesh VPN that allows direct peer-to-peer -peer connections between devices. What does that mean? We'll install a TailScale add-on to Home Assistant so a TailScale agent running on my Home Assistant instance can reach outside of my fortress to talk to TailScale servers. I'll install the TailScale app on my phone or my laptop so that I can talk to Home Assistant through a secure tunnel from anywhere. So it's two steps to install TailScale on both ends of your tunnel, on the Home Assistant instance and on the device that you'll be accessing Home Assistant from, like your phone or your laptop. If you're searching for Home Assistant and TailScale, there's an integration and an add-on. The integration is something that uses the TailScale API to connect your devices um, to Home Assistant. So for example, if you're already using TailScale and you have a bunch of other machines connected to your TailScale VPN network, they call it TailNet, um, this allows you to then install the integration so that you can control and monitor your tail scale devices from Home Assistant. But we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be using the tail scale add-on. This is installing the tail scale add-on on Home Assistant so that it can then reach out and connect to tail scale servers, um, which then allows us to use the tail scale app to, um, to observe and talk to Home Assistant. So a little bit different, but we're gonna be working with the tail scale add-on. So I'm here in Home Assistant now, and if you go to the settings and look under add-ons, the add-on store, you can search for tail scale, zero config VPN, and you'll wanna install that add-on. Once it's installed, you can start the add-on and then open up the web UI so that you can authenticate TailScale to connect to Home Assistant. If you don't already have a TailScale account now, you'll be prompted to create a new account, but I've already previously set this up, so I'm just gonna re-authenticate. And connect the Home Assistant device to my TailNet. All right, now let's head back to Home Assistant. And we can see we are connected to our TailScale VPN network, our TailNet. The next step is going to be to install the TailScale app wherever we plan to uh, connect to Home Assistant from. So, for example, if I were to take my laptop to work, I would be on a different uh, network. And so I'd want to install TailScale and have it active and running on my MacBook. Or if I'm going to be at the bus stop and I want to check Home Assistant on my phone, then I will install the Android um, mobile app on my phone. So let's do that now. Okay, so I downloaded the TailScale mobile app and I signed in to TailScale. And you can see I have a couple devices. I'm on my Google Pixel 6 Pro. So I've connected my phone already to my TailNet and I have two additional devices. I can connect to Home Assistant and other devices here. So if I were to take a look at that IP and copy it to my clipboard, I'd be able to hit that IP exactly as I would in my own home. The one thing that's missing here is the port. So let's go over to a browser. You'll wanna make sure you add the default Home Assistant port. And now you can log into Home Assistant and use it and access the dashboard like you normally would be able to in your own home. There's a lot of ways to set up remote access to Home Assistant. Home Assistant even has their own cloud service available if you want to pay a subscription. There's different tunneling service providers, other ways to cobble together different parts of your solution, and there's also self-hosted options. But TailScale abstracts a lot of the configuration and security stuff, and it's one of the quickest and easiest ways to set it up. If you like this video, like and subscribe, and let me know what else you want to learn next.